We are looking at your forecast today on the 4th of July. You're going to have one of those sodas outside today. You'll need that ice cold beverage because we are talking about temperatures getting into the summer light category right where we should be this time of year into the low 80s. We have that risk for a few pop up storms here and there like we saw yesterday. So your Independence Day forecast looking pretty good. What you would expect this time of year tonight. We'll watch the fireworks displays going on in Flint, Bay City, Saginaw and also Midland. Fenton has it going on. Everybody's got the fireworks displays going on, right? Well, the storms that do pop today, just the few and far between ones, they'll lose their energy source, which is the sunshine as the sun sets. So by the time we go from 930 to 1030, we'll start to see most of these thunderstorms, if any at all develop, which is a slim chance. We'll start to see them fading away like we did yesterday. So this morning have a few clouds, especially in the eastern sections of the thumb. We had some isolated showers last night moving through Oscoda. They're out of here. So now we're starting to see just a mix of clouds and sunshine for your morning. Temperatures are at 66 in Burton, Frankenmuth and Auburn at Vassar at 63. We're at 70 in Sandusky, 64 in Corona, 60 in Ithaca and 64 in Harrison. Right where we should be this time of year, maybe a few degrees above that. Actually, we should be closer to 60. And as we go throughout the day today, we'll actually see temperatures leveling off right at our afternoon high average which is around 82 degrees. Not a lot to talk about out west. Our moisture continues to stream in from the south, and that's the same area that we've been seeing the moisture coming in over the last couple of days. But the way that the trajectory of the moisture is going, it's one that favors us here in Michigan because it's going to push most of this rain down south just east of Michigan, making it go more towards Lake Erie, Lake Ontario and Southern Ontario, like we saw with that last batch of moisture that's now moving through portions of Ontario. So we'll continue to watch it for you. You can check the radar at any point throughout your day today before you head out at mynbcnews.com. But what we'll be watching is this moisture feed slowly fading away over the next couple of days. So our rain chances will actually become a little more less as we go from Saturday into Sunday before we have to increase those rain chances again coming up for Monday with our next cold front. So Futurecast keeps most of the moisture to the east today. I think it's underdoing it just a little bit. It should have some green painted about across our area just to indicate that pop up shower thunderstorm possibility. Not a widespread risk for showers and storms today. Tonight we'll lose the showers. Here we are at 10 o'clock as those fireworks are going off. Notice Futurecast keeps it quiet. It favors our area without the rainfall. By tomorrow morning we could see a few showers moving into extreme southeastern portions of the lower peninsula and that's going to be the case for us over the next few days. Favor closer towards Ontario as that moisture stream kind of moves away from our area. And we hold on to that threat for a few showers and storms going into your weekend. But again, it, just like it's been the last few days, it's that pop up variety, not the widespread rain risks and temperatures stay into the mid 80s for the warmer days. Some upper 80s possible from Sunday into Monday. But other than that, things look pretty good summer like and we're not 100 degrees like we were at this point last year. I know it was much better. It was awful last year. <laughs>